Hey everyone, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. How y'all doing? I have been about as patient as I can possibly be here in the Ozarks of Missouri. I've waited two straight days. It has not stopped raining for a second. There's a reason why the Ozarks are so green. It's because they get a ton of rain and I have all but just given up on waiting for it to stop. My pictures, my experience of the Ozarks and Branson is going to be much different than every other picture and video I've seen because <laughs> there's a lot of rain around here, but I am going to have fun no matter what. In fact, I'll just find indoor stuff until it stops, okay? We're here in the city of Ozark, Missouri, and my buddy Jason said I should go grab some breakfast over at Billy Gale. So I'll lock everything up, feed the kitties, and then I'll go see what they got on their menu over there. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description if you need some mobile internet. Here we go. Woo! Oh, that wind and rain is just miserable. I'm so over it, but... Billy Gales, everybody. Look at this place, the 14 inch pancake and the billion dollar bacon. The one pound pork tenderloin, that's something else in here. Oh, and we got a big boy hamburger over here. You guys got pretty good uh, hamburgers here? Well, that's cool. Yeah, this is a wonderfully themed restaurant. More Pepsi stuff, some snow skis. And now we got, now we got the wind mixed with the rain. I'm gonna get inside and give up, go eat, go eat something. Go, oh, wait, let me see over here. Let's peek at the other side here real quick. Got a nice big cock up front. Yep, all right. Holy cow, this is just miserable weather. So that's what they're famous for. They're 14 inch pancakes, sweet cream vanilla pancakes. I think I'm gonna get a specialty there. This camera that I'm using today is not waterproof and I'm worried that some rain got in the lens where it opens and closes. Hopefully we'll be okay, but I got a Billy Gale's coffee and an orange juice and I did order their uh, pancake. They don't have any magnets here, surprisingly. I really wanted a Billy Gale's magnet, but they don't have any right now. All right, my two 14 inch chocolate chip pancakes have arrived. I'm gonna try to pick up this plate to show you that it's about three times the size of my face and there's two of them in there. It is monstrous. It looks delicious and you wouldn't like it. Just so you can see the cup of coffee compared to the two 14 inch freaking chocolate chip pancakes. Guys, guys. Impressive. I also got a little side of peanut butter because I love my peanut butter. I don't need all this butter I don't think though. Just kind of put that over there. Put a little peanut butter with my chocolate chips. Here people are staring. You actually got the 14 inch double pancake. Lord. What do you do with it? Do you, do you just roll it up and, and, and... Oh yeah, look at that dent I made in it. With... Oh my gosh, throw it on the ground. Okay, that was a ridiculous amount of pancakes. How did I do? Yeah. A corner off the side. <laughs> I'm gonna take some with me, not the whole two thing left, but I'm gonna take a little bit with me. So I can munch on it later. That was an incredible pancake though. Awesome. Oh man, I'm stuffed. I went in the RV and grabbed my GoPro. It's pretty much waterproof. Well, if it records, it doesn't always save all my recordings, but guess what I did guys? I'm a way out of here. I kind of, kind of locked myself. Well, maybe not because I was traveling and I saw that there was a way through. Unfortunately, a delivery truck is now blocking my way. Is that a Bud Light truck? Yeah, so I either can't get out that way or I gotta be patient or since I put that new system uh, in the car with the bungee, I might be able to back out and figure this out. I'm gonna try to be patient. I think, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cancel all of my river boondock camping. Done, over with. I'm, I'm just, it's not gonna happen this trip. There's no way I'm gonna camp near a flooding river with record she said it too she gets down at my table she gets to my table and she's like oh yeah the ozarks never like this this is historic rainfall and flooding don't even start with me i just laugh at it it's, there's nothing you can do about it i can't sit here forever and wait it's not gonna stop so oh Lee. This is not fun. But remember the beginning of my last video was sunny and beautiful and warm 
just got to be patient and battle through this. So I'm going to look on freecampsites.net and see if there's another campground that is on more solid ground, not near a body of water type thing. And then, and then <clears throat> if this doesn't end, I may have to just fork over some bucks and find an RV park. In fact, I might do that also. Yeah, let me get back to you. Jack says, I don't really care about the rain, Dad. It means I get more snuggles. I'm like, yeah, that's true. You do, you know? But it's also why I have a lot of activities inside the RV. I've done that on purpose with all my video game system and my satellite TV might not work in the heavy rain, but you know, Netflix and Amazon Prime, and YouTube and all that stuff. I joke about this, the, the rain following me around everywhere I go, even when it's not forecast, it's still, they just change it. And that's what, what kind of happened at my last location. When I ended that video, they had added the thunderstorms and we got the tornado warning and that happened, but it was supposed to be dry the next day. Well, they just extended it through the entire day and then into today. And as you can see, this is not a 0% chance like it was two days ago. It's flat out flooding. So I have no faith that tomorrow it's really going to be dry. I don't. That's why I'm just moving forward and we're just going to adapt and do indoor stuff instead. It's unfortunate that I'm not going to get to experience Branson and the Ozarks as I wanted to and as I planned, but <clears throat> some things we really do have zero control about, and uh, I'm going to try to smile and be happy and just laugh about it all. Yeah, I'm full. My belly is full. All right. I found some camping. It's about 11 miles outside of Branson, and it's not near a river. However... I'm just going to go check it out just for fun because I know the road is rock. I just can't see what the individual pull through. It says it's uh, three to six campsites at a free campground. I'll, I'll give you more information when I get there. We'll go look at it together and just kind of see what it looks like. And if it's something I want to, I won't take a chance, but if it's something I want to brave and then just hope that tomorrow's going to be a little drier than right now, that's what I think I'm going to do. So we'll head to this free campsite and we'll check it out together. It's just one of those days, guys. It's just one of those days. What are you going to do, man? Thank you, Bud Light. Now I got a way out. I mean, it is pretty country up through here. The rain is taking a short little break here, so this is nice. We're about two miles away from this campground, and we're still on solid road. That's a good sign. I just take it really slow around these curves and blind hills and stuff like that, because... The locals are used to the road, so they're flying by, and nearly every single car is like crossed the double yellow line and scared me a little bit. So I just, I'm going what, 35 in a 55. Just taking it easy here. I think this is it. I think it's about a half mile up farther than the GPS. Yes, we found it. Camping area this way. Cool, cool. Let's see, the road I'm on right now is gravel. It's moist, uh, but it's gravel. Let's go look up here. I think I see some stuff going on. Yeah, here we go. We got a dumpster off to our right. There's somebody tent camping right in front of us. And there's restrooms. Let me, let me figure this out, because there's, there's definitely sites. Cool. All right, keep a positive attitude, Eric. This will not last forever. It never does, but it does certainly rain a lot here on my channel. So I picked this little round. I had to take off my shirt, guys. It's hot, it's humid, it's sticky, it's moist, but it's also pouring rain and I can't open the windows. I can't let any air in. I'm not getting any solar. So I actually do have to start up the generator just to boondog. It sucks, but you know, Traveling full time means I can't really escape the rain like all those other YouTubers. So my Branson experience is gonna be much, much different than anybody else's because I can't simply just go to a hotel for a week and wait for the rain to stop. I've gotta do Branson in the rain because this is when I'm here with the RV. Now, like I said, we are getting a lot of water up here over there, but I'm parked on gravel, so I should be okay. I basically can't get stuck because it slopes a little bit. The water comes down and you can see, there it goes. How's that go again? All the way down there like that. But this is a crap ton of rain. 
Jeez, it just gets old sometimes. I'm not complaining, I'm just showing you how much it rains in, in, in real life. <laughs> so I'll make the most out of Branson. Thank goodness for the car and a few indoor activities because I may be stuck with that. I don't know. You guys notice I haven't touched the motorcycle once since I left base camp. Not once have I even pulled it off and used it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You do have a motor, Tara. <laughs> what? Don't you even start that, Jax. You could be over there cuddling with us too, but you chose the bed. Okay? At least we know she purrs, right? Jack's a good boy. We love him too. Love him lots. He's just, he's grumpy. Grumpy old puss. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Right. Well, guys, I'm outside underneath the awning, staying semi-dry right now, although it is a little windy and I'm keeping an eye on it. I have decided, since being in the RV, that I am going to pause my Branson experience. I'm going to wait. I do believe that the rain is going to stop in a few days, and I am going to wait it out here in the RV where I'm comfortable. I got TV. I can see the southern sky. I've got internet that actually works, so that's good. And um, I'm just going to be running the generator and burning through fuel, to, since there's not a whole lot of solar going on right now. So, uh, I don't know. This, this is really weird for me, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep a more positive attitude moving forward with my life and uh, not just be grumpy about everything. I, you know, get used to it. I know I've been saying it is what it is a lot. I, I don't even like that phrase, but it is what it is. And am I right, though? All right, so... Stay tuned, guys. I'll be back with you from sunny Branson. Bye, guys.